Hello, Tony here from Tech ARVR. You're scrolling on your phone late at night. An ad pops up for something you were just thinking about. That gadget you briefly considered. Or the vacation spot you daydreamed of. It feels like your phone is reading your mind. But what if it's not just your phone? What if future technology could use signals from your body? Like heart rate, walking speed, or even the way you type. All to predict your deepest desires before you even express them. This is not magic or a coincidence. It's science and it's being developed right now. The technology is so powerful it could create a world where our needs are met automatically. But this also raises a question. If AI can predict our desires, can it shape them too? The problem of AI's omniscience. Think about YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram. Have you ever noticed they seem to know exactly what you want before you do? You watch a single video about restoring old furniture. Suddenly, your entire feed is full of DIY carpentry tutorials. It's so common, it's become a meme, a running joke about our phones listening to us. The feeling can be unsettling, even a little creepy. It's as if an invisible hand is guiding your digital life. This is predictive AI at work. For decades, advertising shouted a message to a large audience. Now AI creates personalized experiences that feel almost telepathic. It doesn't just react to clicks and searches. It anticipates outcomes, predicts interests, and optimizes strategies before you even act. Predictive analytics is the field behind this. It uses data, algorithms, and machine learning to forecast trends. But the data is not just what you buy or click. It includes your behavior, your likely moods, and even what you might want next. How deep does this rabbit hole go? The data detectives, beyond search history. Artificial intelligence is like a detective noticing clues everyone else misses. The obvious clues are your digital breadcrumbs. Every search, video, or cart item contributes. Netflix credits over 80% of what people watch to its recommendation engine. Amazon claims personalized suggestions drive 35% of its sales. These numbers change, but the influence is clear. AI identifies patterns in massive data sets at a speed no human could match. It tracks not just clicks, but how long you pause, mouse movements, and scroll speed. Every action contributes to a detailed user profile. Some data you know you're giving. Other data you don't even realize exists. Even small actions, like pausing a video or hovering over a product, matter. It's all part of the AI puzzle to understand and predict you. Imagine browsing for shoes and later seeing exactly what fits your taste everywhere online. It's subtle but powerful. Your body is the data source. Prediction starts to feel like mind reading here. Your phone and smartwatch are packed with sensors. They monitor heart rate, skin temperature, and even electrodermal activity. Electrodermal activity measures tiny electrical changes in your skin. These changes can signal stress or excitement. Accelerometers in phones and watches track movement. The way you walk, your gait, is unique to you. AI can use it to infer your energy, mood, or stress level. Typing on a keyboard is another clue. Pressure and rhythm, called keystroke dynamics, are personal signatures. Advanced AI models process all this data simultaneously. In lab tests, multimodal data can detect emotional states with high accuracy in real life. Factors like variability and privacy make it more challenging. Even so, the technology is evolving quickly. The power to the fusion of senses comes from combining multiple sensors. Your phone's microphone can detect stress in your voice. Pitch, tone, and speed reveal subtle emotions. Your camera can analyze facial expressions. A raised eyebrow or frown tells the AI how you feel. Now imagine combining heart rate, voice, and face. The AI could determine you're stressed without asking.
It might suggest a calming playlist or dim the lights. It's not science fiction, it's already being developed. Privacy, regulation, and technical challenges limit widespread use. But prototypes show the potential. Imagine your car noticing fatigue from your expressions and alerting you. Or a smart home adjusting lighting to your mood as you walk in. The world of tomorrow. Today, AI is already reshaping healthcare. It can monitor patients' mental health or predict potential crises. It can recommend personalized treatments or therapy plans. Education also benefits. Learning platforms can adapt in real time to engagement levels. Video games adjust difficulty based on players' emotional responses. Smart homes could adapt music, temperature, or lighting based on detected mood. Even cars may intervene if your attention or energy drops. Businesses that use these innovations gain a competitive edge. They move from reacting to anticipating customer behavior. The environment reacts to us, not the other way around. As we gaze into the future, is AI utopia or manipulation? Imagine a world where AI is empathetic and proactive. Your digital assistant could help reduce stress and improve learning. This is the utopian vision, a world more efficient, convenient, and responsive. But there's a darker side. AI that predicts needs can also manipulate decisions. We're shifting from the attention economy to the intention economy. Companies can target your future choices, what you buy, who you vote for, even what you desire. If AI senses indecision or stress, it could nudge purchases. This raises ethical questions about privacy and autonomy. Every interaction, every mood change is tracked. Social pressure can be manufactured, showing people like you bought something. The line between suggestion and manipulation blurs. Is AI a tool for inspiration or a threat to free will? By 2030, this technology will shape how we live. If you want to understand AI's next moves, subscribe to Tech RVR. Turn on notifications to stay ahead of the curve. Explore the possibilities and dangers of predictive AI with us. The next time an ad appears for something you were just thinking about, remember, it's not telepathy. It's a network of data points, clicks, searches, viewing habits. In the future, it may include heart rate, voice tone, and movement. AI is building a model of you that becomes more accurate every day. The goal is a seamless world where desires are met before you ask. But we must ask, is this AI reflecting or shaping our desires? The line is blurring, and it may be one of the biggest challenges of our time. What do you think? Let me know in the comments.